gentlemen, welcome to the Evangelist Nick Garrett Channel Truth First Christianity. Today is a public service announcement. It hopefully will help many of you out there doing Bible study to just sort people out and who they are, because sometimes you end up with characters of the same names, and it's hard to tell who's doing what. Let's use our friend Eusebius of Nicomedia that we're learning from right now for an example. There was also a Eusebius of Caesarea, who was a bishop. They were both present at the First Council of Nicaea. Eusebius of Nicomedia was a historian. He was a friend and confidant of the Emperor Constantine. He might have been a courtier, meaning he held some type of position in the group of people around Constantine. He certainly had his ear during the controversy with the presbyter Arius uh, that led to the First Council of Nicaea. But he was different than Eusebius of Caesarea. Eusebius of Caesarea led a compromise group. If you remember at the First Council of Nicaea, you had Arius and his group saying, hey, Jesus Christ is a different substance than God. He is heterousios, and that's what our creed should say. You had Alexander from Alexandria and his star pupil, the young African who made all the difference and wrote one of the most amazing works on the Trinity ever, Athanasius of Alexandria. And he said, no, he is not heterousios, a different substance than God. He is homoousios, the same substance as God. Well, in that room of 280 to 300 bishops, Eusebius of Caesarea, not Nicomedia, even though he was there too, stood up next. And Eusebius of Caesarea said, look, me and my boys have been talking about this. And what about compromise? Let's say Jesus is homoousios, of a similar substance to the Father. Noble effort, but it didn't work. Initially, Athanasius won the day. They decided that Jesus was homoousios, the same substance as God. And although the work from Nicaea was overturned the very next year, and it would take many more centuries for this doctrine to solidify, from time to time we get Christian characters with the same name, and we got to sort out who they are. I have a book upstairs uh, from the Catholic Church called 101 Catholic Saints, and in it they say that James is the cousin of Jesus. But we know from the Bible and other sources that no, James is the brother of Jesus. Unless there's two different Jameses. Let me read something to you. Check this out. This is chapter 9 of Book 2 of the Church History by Eusebius of Nicomedia, and this is the martyrdom of James the Apostle. Now about that time, it is clear that he means the time of Claudius. Claudius is the third emperor from the resurrection of Christ. We had Tiberius, Caius for four years, now we have Claudius. Herod, the king, stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church, and he killed James, the brother of John. James, the brother of John, remember that for a second, with the sword. And concerning this James, Clement, in the seventh book of his hypotyposis, Clement wrote a series of books that Eusebius references as historical sources pretty frequently, and Clement was the fourth bishop of Rome. He relates a story in it which is worthy of mention, telling it as he received it from those who had lived before him. He says that the one who led James to the judgment seat when he saw him bearing his testimony was moved and confessed that he himself was also a Christian. They were both, therefore, he says, led away together, and on the way he begged James to forgive him. And he, after considering a little, said, Peace be with thee, and kissed him. And thus they were both beheaded at the same time. And then, as the divine scripture says, Herod, upon the death of James, seeing that the deed pleased the Jews, attacked Peter also and committed him to prison and would have slain him if he had not, by the divine appearance of the angel who came to him by night, been wonderfully released from his bonds and thus liberated for the service of the gospel, such was the providence of God in respect to Peter. Now, if you're like me, you are well aware that James, the brother of Jesus, 
was flung from the top of the temple and killed that way. So, was James the Apostle different from James the brother of Jesus? We also know that James was the first bishop of Jerusalem. He presided over the Jerusalem council. These are very interesting questions, but obviously we have a situation where there are two Jameses. So when you're doing your Bible study, keep that in mind. Which James are we talking about? Are we talking about James, the brother of our Lord Jesus? Or are we talking about James, the apostle, the brother of John? I find it hard to believe that maybe Jesus was brothers with James and John, because then it would have just said, James, the brother of John and our Lord Jesus. But it doesn't. It's worth noting, and it's worth consideration when reading the book of James to note, are we talking about James the Apostle? Was James the Apostle the Bishop of Jerusalem, or was James the brother of Christ the Bishop of Jerusalem? To sort out these little pieces are some of the great mysteries that just further enhance our faith. Give us more great, wonderful details to work with. And every time we read the scripture after learning these little nuances, tell me, you, I know you've done it. It feels great because you know exactly what they're talking about. It is so powerful. Anyway, friends, God bless you. And as always, may your work today... Oh, wait, I forgot to tell you. If you want to purchase a book that I've written, visit Amazon.com slash author slash Nicholas Garrett. Get one of the books from the Just Tell Me the Truth About Christianity series for uh, on paperback or for your Kindle. The new one's coming out on the Reformation and Counter-Reformation. You can also purchase my nonfiction work, Shipwrecked in the Land of King Tobacco, the first Washington family immigrant to America, about George's great-grandfather John and how he established the Washington family in the colony of Virginia. You can also visit our Teespring store and buy a t-shirt or a mug. Some of the shirts have pictures that I've taken myself in the catacombs of the Franciscan Monastery. Now you can also support us via PayPal. There's a link in the video description that you can click to get there. I also put it on the screen. A dollar I'd be very grateful for. Anything you can give. We use it both to continue making our work better, and I use it also sometimes to put food on the table for my children. So just being honest about where it goes. But as you can see, I have kept my commitment to continually reinvest in better equipment and material as I have gotten contributions. Anyway, not asking, but if you can offer, do it. I uh, Feel free to continue to watch the videos for free, and I love all of you equally. A uh, special shout out to those few individuals who are really just helping me out so immensely with the larger contributions. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I can't thank you enough. Uh, as always, God bless you all, and may your work today bear fruit. Thanks.